If you didn't know, today <laughs> what is it? It is National Gingerbread <laughs> House Day. We're gonna give you some knowledge. Okay. Gingerbread figurines actually date back to the 15th century. Oh. If you didn't know, didn't know. And in nope. the 17th century, only professional gingerbread bakers were allowed to bake them, except at Christmas. Blasphemy. And I know. But today, it's now an annual tradition for many of us to celebrate. And today, Ooh, look at that. We are gonna be making our own <laughs> little gingerbread houses. We got our graham crackers going on. We got our candy canes, vanilla icing. I'm so gonna have a shanty. We're gonna get started. We're gonna see who can make the best one. Pencil down. <laughs> Bam! Let me move. Boom! Let me move. <laughs> Kelly, tell us about your ginger. This house. is an apartment complex because I go big. So, um, this is one of the amenities of the apartment complex. Um, okay, let's move and on. And it's a gym. Quaylen's. <laughs> Quaylen's is a shotgun house. I have a, sh I have a shotgun show. shanty. And mine is leaning a little to the Yours left. Yours is perfect. Leaning to the left just slightly. Yours, it's going to fall shortly. I want to eat all the icing, though. All right, here's a live look from Minneapolis this morning where the Eagles and Patriots are set to go head-to-head -head in the Super Bowl. And if you are hosting a party or going to a party and need an idea of what to bring, well, you know what? We're here to help you out. <laughs> our three expert, Kelly Brown, is going to look at all this. Is going to tell us what is here on this amazing table. All right, guys, so we've been waiting for this all morning. What we have here, according to the yeah. Daily Meal, it is among the top five most popular Super Bowl party foods. Everything we have here you can find locally. Best part about this. Let's start with the dips up here. Let's start with the dips. Right. We have Where these. We these are from Bromart. We have better cheddar right. and Louisiana crawfish dip. Mm -hmm. Oh, my right. gosh. Have a, have a taste. Have a I'm going to go over here. And, uh, I'll okay. make. Also from Bromart, we, we have I'm some good. champagne. This is the specially mm -hmm. decorated Mardi Gras bar. Uh, bottle and plus we have king cake because that's a meal staple right now. You can't have a meal without king cake right now. What do you guys? This think? actually popped earlier during <laughs> the break. So <laughs> no, it's, I it's a the mistake, pork. but no. it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. What do you What do you think? Oh, good. Yeah, better Bro cheddar Mart is delicious. Yeah. Okay. So Bromart has those really great dips. Now on to the wings. Mm. Oh, oh yeah. We've been waiting my for this God, one. we've been smelling these all morning long. So this is from Chicken and Watermelon. It's local right here uptown. You can find this on South Claiborne. Yes. And we have a hundred yes. pieces yes. from Chicken <laughs> and Watermelon. Charles is taking all one hundred pieces. No, no, I'm gonna make it. <laughs> so we have a bunch of different <laughs> flavors, guys. We have Chipotle, fish fry, mm. boogie bird, Cajun mm. ranch, yeah, Cajun Charles. Creole, yakamine. I mean, this is, it, it doesn't get so any more. The boogie bird is for uh, boogie cousins, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then also uh, Alvin Kamara says this is his favorite place he to sure get did. some wings. Mm -hmm. so. Charles Dillon says that too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're excited here in the studio. Carnival season is in full swing, and not only do we have the next round of parades rolling this weekend, we have the King Cake Festival happening on Sunday, and this morning, but we have a few of last year's winners from the festivals that we are all testing out. Ladies, are you ready? Of course we are. We have them uh, you, here. You're cutting it ready that you can have a little taste of this. We're trying to make sure that we get like slice and dice piece so that yes. way you're getting a little taste of everything, so you, including the filling and that kind exactly. of stuff. Exactly. So you're going to taste each one, and okay. at the end, you're going to judge them one, two, three in order of your favorite. And we favorite. have our cards. And, you have your card. and can we just say thank you to Randy? Look how beautifully the table is. Yeah, Randy decorated this. And our producer, <laughs> Brittany, did hands. some craft this morning. All right, so first up, what we have here on the very right of the table okay. is from Coco Bean Bakery mm. and Cafe in Hammond. Now they won most unique in last year's contest, so go ahead and give that one a try. Uh, now the owner tells us this mm. creation is a pie dough. It's stuffed with apple filling Ooh. and then deep fried and layered with Did you get the icing. Apple? Mm -mm. I like it. You gotta get the apple. I didn't even Hold get on. the apple and it's still mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. okay. It's kind of like a, one Thank of the uh, right. Hubix pie kind mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. idea, right? Right, right. That's exactly this like a really hey good. Really miss those. You like that? This is from Coco Bakery, mm -hmm. uh, Coco Bean Bakery and Cafe mm -hmm. in That's Hammond. really good. Right. All right, so okay. next up in the middle, this one is interesting. Look at this wow. thing. This thing is massive. If you, if you can't get a shot of this. Now, this is from Maurice's French Pastries. Now, this is the Cake Benedict. Mm -hmm. It won the most likely to replace a meal <laughs> category, and I'm going to tell you why. You can you, see the inside you of it. You can see the Check out this. It's a poached mm -hmm. egg. It's mm -hmm. got mm -hmm. asparagus. Breakfast. It's got some shallots on top. Mm -hmm. You can see it dripping right there. So this is more of a savory type of king cake. So give that a try. This might be Jesus' favorite cake. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm going mm -hmm. with Jesus. Oh, okay. You know it's good when there's silence. Oh God, you know so it's great good. when it's silence. Oh, wow. It's a little different taste, a savory yeah. instead of uh, the sweet the king cake. Really good. Maurice mm -hmm. does everything well, I feel like. All right, well, it uh, sounds like they like this really one, good. so let's go ahead and move okay, on. Okay. To, okay. Unless you, you want to finish that one, Randy, or are you good? <laughs> you want, is, is that good? Making a mess is what's happening. We'll, we'll say some for later. Right, lastly, really we have a cake from the Bywater Bakery at the very end. Now, they're going to be at the festival this year with a full bar as well, so not just king cake. They got some alcohol for you where you can try 
try all their yeah. fillings. Uh, we're also, uh, they were able to send us uh, their berry chantilly oh, cake. Oh, this is Bywater Bakery. This is a Bywater oh Bakery. This is one of your oh favorites, goodness. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I gotta get the filling part. Now this oh is uh, has mascarpone mm -hmm. and a whipped cream with fresh blueberries, mm -hmm. raspberries, strawberries, and blackberries. Mm -hmm. Now that is a fresh one. They, they got a lot of thumbs up, a lot of mm -hmm. silence, mm -hmm. a lot of smacking of the lips.